Yak it to me. Voice of the web. Dear Republican Party, last night I witnessed the debate in which you booed your presidential candidate Ron Paul for his position on the takedown of the terrorist Osama bin Laden. Contrary to the lies of the mainstream media he explained that he voted for the authority to go after bin Laden. However he was upset with the way this operation took place. First he voted to authorize the government to take Bin Laden down, but wondered why it took us 10 years to do so instead of going after the terrorists we had undergone useless and costly wars. Furthermore he did not understand why we could not capture this terrorist and extract valuable information from him. He also doubted the wisdom of invading foreign soil to kill him. We could have had the cooperation of the Pakistani government and reduced our harm to foreign relations and our risk to national security. Your point did not bother me, however, until he mentioned the golden rule. Would we like a foreign government sent troops into our sovereign nation to capture their bad guys without even consulting us or asking us for help and cooperation? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. In a response you shouted boo. And go home. What has happened to the Republican Party? How can you boo the golden rule and disdain the teachings of Christ? You claim to be the party of Christian values, yet disregard the teachings of your own scriptures. If you continue this hypocrisy I will not be alone in my disdain of you and your lies. Paul's supporters, who are growing more numerous and more irate, will continue to vote on principle. We will not vote for the lesser of two evils no matter how desperate we are. We will not be held responsible for the consequences. You will throw our nation to the dogs. Do not be blinded by your lust for blood and vengeance. Do not be intimidated by the fear and lies your politicians have instilled in you. If you do not choose the right leader for this nation and return to the principles you claim to believe in, it will spell the collapse of your party and the power you hold so dear. Do not turn your back on small government, liberty, and the principles of your forefathers. Do not forsake the Constitution. We are watching and we will forsake you if you do. It will be your demise. You will have no one to blame but yourselves. God bless you, and God bless America. He is watching also. Do the right thing. Thank you for listening, but do not be hearers only but doers of the word of God.